guess I should have moved this a little bit, huh? Took one piece at a time. I don't do a lot of splitting. I've had this for a couple years, and uh, I'm just splitting up these big pieces because I don't feel like picking them up and putting them on my splitter. So my technique is not that good. But it works pretty decent on this maple. Good exercise. Well, that didn't work out too good, did it? One thing that I really didn't know, obviously you know I don't split a lot of wood with an axe. I always used to try and kill it right through the center and split the thing in half. But the more logical way, like a lot of you guys have shown me, is to pick away at the edges. That actually works quite well. I think this, I said this the last time I used this. Boy, I give credit to you guys who do this all the time. Brian Two Bears, if you watch him chopping away, man, he's a madman. Even uh, ethical acts there. You watch him. That guy's good, man. He knows his stuff. He's funny. If you like a good sense of humor, the type of humor that I have, he's a funny guy to watch. His comments, conversations, I just enjoy it. I guess if they all split like this, I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't do all this. That'd just be crazy. But to come out and get some exercise, obviously you can see this isn't something I regularly do. But, you know, I do like it. I do have another Tassie. It's, uh, supposed to be a Kelly Cyclone, unmarked, and uh, someday I got to put a put the handle on it or half the axe if that's what you call it, which I've never done. But uh, when I get that going sometime, I wouldn't mind coming out here and, and splitting some more of this, but uh, either way, I'm, I'm knocking these few big pieces out that I got from that maple, and uh, my splitter's coming over here. Thanks for watching.